Dear friends, I would like to welcome you to our online course on development of online course for Swayam. You have already come across the quadrant 1, quadrant 2 and under quadrant 3, I have discussed what is discussion program and how does it work. In this particular module, I would like to explain the role and importance of discussion forum in online learning environment. While designing an online course, you must know the importance of discussion forum to make the learning more effective on digital platform. Teaching and learning are effective only when the interaction takes place, the discussion takes place and debate takes place. But when we teach through digital platform, in asynchronous mode, the real-time interaction is not possible. So, there is a challenge. To overcome this challenge, we have a provision for online discussion in the LMS. The discussion forum or you can say the discussion board gives the space for interaction and discussion between the learners and teachers who are remotely located at different places. The participants can interact through this discussion forum as per their convenience. There is no need to be present in real time. So, the discussion is a must. Without discussion, learning cannot be complete. In face-to-face -face teaching learning process or in synchronous mode, we have the advantage to interact with the students. But in case of asynchronous, that is non-live teaching mode, we cannot interact with our teachers and also the students cannot interact with their peers in real time. So, we have the provision of discussion forum. It is clear to us the discussion forum is there. There is no anxiety how the teaching learning takes place. So what would be the features of the discussion forum? How do you participate in the discussion forum? Now I would like to highlight the features available in online discussion forum. It may differ from LMS to LMS but the basic features remain the same. What are the basic features of the discussion forum? You can join a discussion, you may create a discussion, you may reply to a post, you may edit your own post within a stipulated time, you can also delete your post within the time frame. So these are the main features of discussion forum. And by going through these features, you are able to understand that the discussion forum is very user friendly. You can post them there, you can discuss any topic, any relevant topic through the forum. You can reply to a post which has been given by other participant. You can edit your own post within the time frame. You can also delete the post that you have created within the time limit. So basic features are clear. We have to follow some norms or I should say that every discussion forum or board follows some norms. It is inbuilt in the system, in the software, in the LMS. For example, any post in the forum can be edited within 30 minutes of a particular post. Suppose you have posted something and later on you have seen that there is a mistake. So you can edit that post within 30 minutes. And that particular post that you have given or you have written in the discussion forum will be made available in the archive after 30 minutes of your post. And you may access the archive post at any time. The archive post, remember, the archive post cannot be deleted. And posting in the forum may be made mandatory as a condition for certification. We have discussed that 
participation in the discussion forum is a must because without discussion the learning cannot be complete we must participate in the interaction with the teachers or with the peers in some courses posting in the forum can be made mandatory as a condition for certification so if you do not participate in any discussion forum you cannot be eligible to get a certificate so some admin can make it compulsory for participation in the discussion forum so these are the basic norms for discussion forum it is fine the discussion forum is there discussion forum forum is a space which gives us to interact with my teachers with my peers so any participants can write can post in the discussion forum and anyone can access this forum anyone can see the others post so we have to be very cautious before writing anything on the discussion forum because it is open to all all the participants can see the others post so we have to keep in mind that for an effective learning participation of discussion forum is mandatory or is compulsory for our own interest there is no doubt that discussion forum is the important tool or effective tool for engaging the students but before writing anything we have to follow some basic rules what are the rules what are these so as a participant of a course of a mooc of a online course we have the provision of discussion forum for writing our views for writing our comments before writing we have to remember certain rules i have highlighted certain rules this is not exhaustive but i have highlighted some basic rules what are these these are be polite and kind always post appropriate comments and questions participate actively in the forum and also don't post any personal message because everyone can see others post in the discussion board respect other members on the forum or always try to avoid the duplication my suggestion is that before posting any message any comments you may go through the previous post because if you see if you go through the previous post the duplication can be avoided discussion forum is the key component of an online course and it has been recognized as quadrant 3 for development of online course for siam discussion forum must be there in online course it is a compulsory component as quadrant 3 let us see the benefits of discussion forum the discussion forum or online forum or online discussion board whatever may be makes the learning interactive here we can highlight some of the benefits of the discussion forum number 1 the participation in discussion forum helps independent learning and also develop critical thinking skill number 2 the ultimate goal of discussion forum or board is to get students talking to each other through though they are remotely located through this online discussion forum the students learn from each other without much involvement of teachers because the question of one student can be answered by other student the teachers involvement 
is minimum here. This is known as peer learning because everybody, everyone is going through this discussion forum. Whenever they access the discussion forum, they can see the post which is already made by other participants. As a student, if I know the answer to that question, I can post, I can write the answer to this particular post. So in this way, the peer learning can be encouraged. The fourth one is very important. Sometimes we find some students remain silent in the face-to-face -face class. They are introvert students. But in case of online course, in case of online forum, such type of introvert students can participate very actively. The online discussion forum, discussion board, increase the involvement of introvert students who are reluctant to speak face-to-face -face classes. And the last one I can say, the students of online courses all are remotely located. So they can feel isolated. The discussion forum can help a lot if the participants, if the students post their comments, their message through this discussion forum. If they actively participate in the discussion forum, they will not feel isolation. So friends, in this module, you have learned features of discussion forum, some basic rules and benefits of the discussion forum for an online course. Hope you have enjoyed the lecture. Thank you.